Hey everybody, welcome back to Simple Diversion. My name is Graham, and today we're going to be talking about wine adores. So the first question is, what is a winador? Well, it's a wine fridge that was converted into a humidor to store cigars. So what are the benefits of having a winador over maybe a traditional humidor? You're gonna be able to keep an accurate temperature with a winador as opposed to a normal humidor. If you live in a warm climate or you don't have air conditioning, this is gonna be a really good uh, storage device for you because you're gonna be able to set that and forget it. The other nice thing about it is that it has an, a fan in the back of it, so it's gonna be able to provide airflow and push fresh air into your cigars so that you don't have to rotate them. It's also gonna have a really good seal, just like a refrigerator would, and it looks cool. I mean, just look at it. You know, you got your, your glass door here with your stainless steel. It's gonna be a really cool humidor to have in your house and to be able to show people. All right, so next step is, what do you look for when possibly thinking about getting a wine-a-door? You know, you could get a, an old wine fridge and convert that into a wine door or now they make the ones just like this bad boy that you can buy with the wood shelves in them. They are specifically made for cigars, but sometimes it's a little bit cheaper to go the old wine fridge route. One thing you have to look out for if you're gonna be doing that though is you have to make sure it's a thermoelectric wine cooler. Reason for this is um, you have either thermoelectric or you're gonna have a compressor and the compressor is gonna have condensation and that's gonna be a really bad combination with your cigars you know then you're gonna have the mold you're gonna probably ruin your cigars so it's got to be thermoelectric it's not gonna have a vibration to it so it's gonna be a lot quieter as well so just make sure you look at that before purchasing what we have right here is gonna be the new air CC 100 and this is gonna hold about 250 cigars that's what they say always take a low-end number on that because when they say 100 count humidor or 200 count humidor, that's gonna be basically uh, Robusto size. So they cram as many of those in there as possible just to kind of oversell it. So you actually wanna get a humidor that's gonna be a little bit bigger than your needs so that you can grow into it. The dimensions of this puppy are gonna be 14 by 19 by 19 and a half. And as you can see, it's pretty deep. And although it is pretty deep, it is actually pretty lightweight, you know, not very hard to pick it up and carry it around at all. Uh, I wouldn't go on vacation with it or anything like that, but if you had to move it, it's not gonna be overly heavy. It does have, so up here it shows the temperature that you're at. You can set that between 56 and 74 degrees. I would not go lower than 62. We're at 64 right now because it is in a basement. Uh, and then here you can just go up, set it down, and then it does have a little light if you wanna illuminate your cigars, but you usually don't leave that on. It actually came with uh, one shelf on the top and then two wood uh, trays and I actually went through wineadors.com uh, to buy these shelves here. Pros and cons to wineadors.com, I've bought in, uh, two or three orders through through wineadors and I haven't had the greatest experience. The quality is great but uh, one occasion things were missing from my order so they had to reship those. Another occasion, I don't think I got my order, and this was with a rush time on it. I believe I had to wait about four months, um, and then there was no communication. Then my, my second order was still missing things, and at that point I was just like, whatever. You know, it was a couple dividers. I'm like, I'm not gonna you know, waste my time going back. I actually got different shelves with the pull drawer on it, and my door wouldn't shut, it would hit, you know, and it's specifically made for this model. So, you know, I did go myself and trim things down to try and get them to fit. I, there's not really a whole lot of options out there, but there were some pros and cons, definitely. You're gonna be waiting a while, that's for sure. This glass door is really nice because you can see your shelves, you can see your cigars if you want, you can see your hygrometer without opening the door. Um, but one thing you do have to keep in mind is that you keep it out of direct sunlight because that sun will still heat up your cigars and then there's that chance for, you know, your wrapper to be ruined or a beetle infestation if it raises your temperature. Although in here, theoretically, it shouldn't because you have it set to 64, so it should run the cooling. But again, just keep it out of direct sunlight. Let's take a look at this bad boy. We'll open her up. Oh, nice suction seal there. Uh, we have the Cigar Oasis Plus in the bottom. I have hygrometers on all, well, three levels here. Uh, one at the top that we were reading about 67, and then 69, and then 69 in the bottom. 
My Oasis is a little bit off, needs to be recalibrated again, but eh, for right now it's doing the job. Sometimes I'll run with just Bovita packs, and right now I have the Oasis in the bottom. So it, it takes up space, so sometimes I just go with the packs. But if we take out the shelves here, and you can hear it kick on probably. Right in the back, the fan is right in the middle. So you just want to make sure you keep your cigars somewhat away from there, but you just don't want it blowing directly on it. But the drawers are really nice from uh, winedoors.com. You have the air circulation holes all the way around. Holds a good amount of cigars. You know, check out my, my humidor tour that I did last video and you'll be able to see everything that I have in here. But, you know, a good, good amount of cigars are in there. And they just slide right in nice and easy. Can't complain about that. And then at the top, we just have, you know, a custom-made shelf and a shelf here. And then the nice thing about the Cigar Oasis is the, the ribbon cable is so thin that either in your humidor or in this wine fridge, it's not going to matter. It's not going to break the seal or anything like that. So really cool, very quiet machine. One thing you do have to keep in mind, though, if you do have the drawers that came with it, there's a, or there's a drawer and then two shelves on the bottom. You cannot move the, the drawer to a, a different location. It's actually too wide, so it won't fit. Actually, it's too tall, so it won't fit in any other area, so you have to keep it there. The way to set it up is you take everything out, and then you're gonna need some baking soda, a cup of baking soda, distilled water, and a sponge, and you're gonna wash out the entire inside, get every nook and cranny, and you're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. And what the baking soda is gonna do is it's gonna get rid of any plastic smell that you know the, was from the manufacturer because you don't want your cigars picking up the, the plastic smell. Leave it for 24 hours, come back with more distilled water and a, sp a different sponge, a clean sponge, and some paper towel, and you're gonna wipe it out again and get rid of all the baking soda. After that, you are ready to season your shelves. So you're gonna take a sponge with distilled water, distilled water only, people, and you're going to wipe them down, not to, not going to drench them in water, but just enough so that you can see the wood turning to a darker brown color. If you over humidify them or wet them too much, you know, you could have a chance for warping and then your drawers aren't gonna fit properly. So just keep that in mind as well. And then you're gonna let those sit with, I would have either your cigar oasis or some sort of humidification device. It does come with a plastic tray that you can put beads in, or I guess you could just pour some distilled water and let that sit and soak for 48 hours. And you're gonna probably wanna wipe down your shelves two to three times within that time, just to make sure they've soaked up uh, enough humidity and that they're gonna not dry out your cigars. Because if you don't season properly, the wood will actually take the humidification from the cigars and suck it in, and then your cigars will be dried out. So you don't want that to happen. So make sure you take your time. It is a process. I've seasoned a humidor in about 24 hours and I didn't really notice anything, but you know, they say 48 hours to three days, so just keep that in mind. And then after that time period, you're good to go. Put your cigars in and let it go. I mean, there is really not a whole lot of maintenance to be, to be done with this guy and I, that's why I got it. I like it. I can set the temperature. I have the Cigar Oasis in there, even the Bovita packs, and you're good to go. It's really a, a great option and it looks modern and sleek. So again, guys, is a wine door for you? You know, that's up to you. One thing to keep in mind is they control temperature. You know, it has a fan so that you don't have to rotate your cigars and you don't have to open the door every week or so. Um, you know, so less maintenance, you know, is it worth spending? That's up to you. Do you want it to show off to your friends or, you know, having the kitchen, having the man cave, great piece. I would recommend it. You know, they have this and then this is gonna be a three cubic foot um, size humidor. They also have a 400 count that you can purchase as well. Take a look around and uh, let me know what you think of this video. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully we'll have Rob back for the next video so that you guys don't have to listen to me talk the whole time. And um, as always, see you soon guys.